Okay, hello everybody. How are we doing tonight? Um, here, let's actually kind of adjust the camera just just a little bit, just a skosh. Hey, so Jan, how are you doing, bud? Hopefully, the sound's coming out good. Hey, Ty. How are you doing this evening? sweet so tonight we'll keep working on uh, the wizard have a few things uh, planned out but first uh, yeah there is a stream <laughs> I've been really bad at trying to update stuff on uh, social media uh, real quick though I will show you guys the results bum new PS4 is having hardware issues Ah, uh, that sucks, Ty. Hey, war boy. So, real quick, I'll show you guys the results of the uh, pour, uh, which looks like turned out okay. But as you can see, see like here, and like along here, there's like some cracks in the resin because I actually poured it too thick, so it actually cracked. But your request fans. Hey, thanks, HeroQuest fans. Yeah, um, been a while since I've seen you here, and it's okay if you just lurk. Uh, I'll be working on the wizard tonight, but I'm just showing some results of a uh, resin pour that I did on Monday. So, uh, but yeah, I uh, have some cracks here, but what I'm going to do is put some Nurgle's Rot in each of these little cracks, and then do another pour over it. And then it should level out, but it should add to more of the uh, icky, ooky... Yeah, there you can see a few of the cracks there. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to help teach this stuff to anybody. <coughs> but, as you can see, got the wizard here. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, would you guys want me to start on the uh, clothes, or would you want to, me to paint the flesh? first on the wizard <laughs> interesting uh, I know your internet is being a sack of Richards yeah would you guys want me to paint the skin first and then work my way out Keep working on the clothes. All right. So, uh, you know what? Let's just dive right into the tunic area. So, um, for the yellow, I'm going to use Golden Glow from uh, MSP. And then for some of the free, I will try to do some freehand here. I'm going to use Saffron Sunset because that seems to be about the closest color to match there. So, nothing like starting out the stream. Um, Alright, right now my eyesight is still good enough. I don't need it. And plus, honestly, if it's going to look good enough uh, at arm's length away, that'll be good. Hehehehe. <laughs> So we'll see just how good this Golden Glow covers and if I need to do a bit of a brown base coat. Yeah, all the vibration. Yeah, the three foot rule. Uh, it's actually saved my sanity a few times in the past with some miniatures where I just had to finally hold it out at arm's length and go, you know what, looks fine enough.
Yeah, definitely, Ty. And yes, you can always treat it like your heroes are going to be under a lot of scrutiny. But even then, some people still be just will still just go, "Wow, you did really good for the scale." So. Which yes, I am no gorilla with a brush with my free hand yet, but it's something I would like to aspire to. Damn it, Dr. Irrefutable, how uh, you said that trade secret would stay secret. Good one, war boy. Good one. And again, like even like right here, I'm not getting too close to the cloak uh, because the purple will do a good job of kind of covering up where the seam is. And again, um, people aren't going to be looking that close at this. Again, I'm having to do a few coats of this yellow just because of the Zenithal highlight I have going on here, but yep, pretty much. And also to Hey, hey, all right, Crit Monkey. Hello. Uh, and Muse is here. Thank you for the raids, guys. Hello, the monkey guys would like to know how you feel about me. <laughs> Like 3D printings back in the day. Hey, no, no worries, Muse. I'm just happy you made it. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, left at an interesting uh, part of the conversation from Crit Monkeys. You know, Golden Ghosty, the idea of. Uh, Swamp gas mineral being able to deter night critters is a unique and interesting idea. And I'm all for this. And I'm surprised we didn't come up with this in another stream. Especially Dawn. I'm just disappointed in her for not thinking of it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Uh, and for the Raiders who just came on, um, let me show you the results of the resin pour, or, you know, the still water pour that I did on Monday's stream. <clears throat> so, and I mean, as you can see, I pointed it out. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Um, I, I poured Boys. it just a little too thick. And I have cracks in it here, 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 few here. But what I'm, <laughs> but what I'm going to do is in each of those cracks, I'm going to put Nurgle's rot there, and then I will do another pour, thinner pour this time, with a still water effect, 
and uh, make that look more like um, the evil corrupting power of the black dragon in the swamp. If you add more, it disappears. I know, but uh, I know we'll disappear, but I'm going to use the uh, cracks. Uh, back and then to the left. <laughs> Yeah, but I figure I will add some of that and, uh, yeah, give it the, because, you know, black dragons have ooky swamps. Hey, thank you for the follow, Walter's Workshop. <coughs> oh, wow. Okay. Hello, Raiders. Dang. Well, this is just a night for all kinds of raids tonight. Well, thank you guys. Um, yeah, uh, Paint Hero Quest and Fantasy and Warhammer Miniatures. Obviously, I'm working on Hero Quest tonight. Um, thank you for the follows, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, definitely a full house tonight. I'll have to go and give Walter's Workshop a follow now, too. So... I can't thank everybody individually for all the follows, so I'll just do a blanket thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, well, since you guys are here, let's just go super technical already. Uh, I'm going to try and freehand these uh, insignias on the uh, on the wizard's robe right now. So, what I'm going to use is uh, Saffron Sun Sunset from MSP Paints. So you guys, and everybody new gets an awkward stare. pokey stick because that is sealed shut oh yeah fill the cup <laughs> that way dawn can bomb it yes I will have to go back and uh, definitely give Walter a follow uh, what kind of stuff do you usually paint Walter if I don't lose you in the uh, uh, stream of chat. Again, thank you so much for the raid, everybody tonight. Paint anything that fits my fancy, really. I lean on fantasy stuff recently, a lot of conquests. Just kind of like Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I do um, a lot of Reaper miniatures, um, Hero Quest, obviously, uh, 40k, and uh, the occasional Star Wars Legion. Which, being an OG Star Wars nerd, it was really fun painting the Star Wars Legion stuff. Yeah, being a variety painter is fun. Yes, that would work for that, Warboy. Yeah, I had an idea for that when you were asking me about that, but it was one of those that I didn't know about the, uh, how good the still water effect would work 
obviously until I tried it. So. Okay. And yeah, um, I'm definitely going to need a tinier brush. So I'm going to do the moon, but don't expect a face on it, all right? I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> and I'm, I only lick my brush to get a tip, but then once I get paint on it, I don't lick it. Uh, the still water effect that I used is literally this. The Vallejo still water effect. Oh, here comes a bomb. <laughs> yeah, usually to get that initial tip back on it. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go just a little bit on the quiet side. And actually the good part with this Saffron Sunset on this yellow doesn't really... Hey, phrasing! <laughs> well, thank you, HeroQuest fans. It doesn't show up until about the third or fourth coat. Hey, I appreciate anyone and everyone that raids my channel. Be they friends, internet acquaintances, or now huh, probably new friends with uh, Walter and company. Yeah, no raid is too small at all. Yeah, it's already turning out pretty good so far. Hopefully you guys can... S okay, yeah, sorry. Here, let me actually... Bring that down just a little bit. Hope you guys can see... Is that too bright? Is that better? Well, thank you, Don. I'd raid you too if uh, roles were reversed. And you too, Muse. Aside from the companion app, HeroQuest fans? Yeah, trouble is, is I have to stream so late at night when I have the girls that, uh, at that point, I am just literally done. No smart device, similar to the system used by Space Crusade. Oh, okay. Not played Hero Quest, but I've seen it since I was a kid. Well, um, and this is from the newly released set that, uh, Avalon Hill did. And it, uh... They kind of divorced all ties from, because uh, in the old system it was kind of loosely based in the Warhammer Fantasy realm, so there's a lot of talk of chaos and chaos knights and chaos sorcery, stuff like that. And now it's dread. Got the classic and the remake. I prefer the classic, of course. Glad they didn't change. Yeah, um, I don't know if you saw my unboxing. Uh, stream, but I actually got out my old Hero Quest box set and actually compared a lot with uh, the new Hero Quest. And yeah, they did not change much at all, thankfully. So I was pretty pleased with that. Okay, there's a giant star here. Looks like there's a star right here. Oh, boom. Sure, plugged in. Yield and aces. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, yeah. Honestly, I think this saffron yellow is like the perfect color to match all of this. And again, is this is this showing up good enough for you guys? I know I know the yellow's kind of bright. <coughs> Yeah, it, it does. Um, yeah, I guess looking at my monitor, it looks really bright. Yeah, sorry, my monitor's over there, so every now and then when I'm looking over there, uh, that's what I'm trying to check. Let's just see how it kind of looks, but yeah, maybe my monitor's just a bit too bright. Um, right now I'm using... Um, Reaper's uh, Master Series paint. Uh, yeah, here's Saffron Sunset by MSP. Um, I use well, okay. I use about anything. Um, I have a lot of Citadel. I have a lot of uh, hate to raid and run, but I got to get ready for bed because work in the morning. But super happy was able to find some. Yeah, and I'm definitely gonna follow you back, bud. Um, thank you again so much, and uh, yes, uh, pointy brushes and um, just really slow, deliberate strokes, Golden Ghosty. So like, right here, like I already have the brush loaded up, and I'm just gonna do very gentle. Which actually, I think I need to load it up. Actually, I'll wash my brush, and that's key too uh, when you're doing details. Night, Walter. Thank you for the raid. Hopefully, I'll see more of you in the future. And then, um, on my so on my palette, I actually dip, pull, and twist to get a point. Use Reaper, Pro, Curl, Vallejo. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, uh, Karu, um, I use Citadel, Army Painter. Uh, I have a little bit of scale color. Yeah, I, I've dabbled into scale color and uh, pro acryl. I have Turbo Dork. I have uh, P uh, Privateer Press. I have uh, yeah Reaper. Yeah, Army Painter, Vallejo, uh, Cuttlefish Colors, and uh, yeah, Green Stuff World. Yeah, and, and yeah, I think I said Turbo Dork too. Yeah, P3 paints and some Reaper freebies, but mainly use the cheap and old Apple Barrel, American Deco Arts. Uh, yeah, um, I just kind of started with uh, Citadel, so that's pretty much the devil I know. So there, and there, and yeah, even right now, I made this cross just a little, this little star, a bit bigger than I wanted. But, hey, you know what? It is what it is. Yes, I literally have a wall of paints to choose from. Uh, maybe here at some point I'll take my camera down so that way people can actually see uh, what all I've got. Maybe after I get this cross. If people are interested, if they want to see the wall of paints... Yep, see there's there are some of the crosses. Yeah, I prime mainly with an airbrush, but uh All right man, gotta sign out for the night. It was a lot of fun. you sir I don't airbrush either yeah I, I prime and I do a little bit of uh, effects with airbrushes so 
but yeah, thanks for swinging by, Golden Ghosty. I'll catch you later on uh, probably Crypt Monkey's stream at some point. Probably should head out to good luck and good work. Thank you, Hero Quest fans. It's always good seeing you, bud. I need to just sit on your streams more, too, but uh, I've been super busy lately, so. Be on Friday or Saturday. Uh, what time? I'll let you pimp your stream. This depends on what time on Friday. Or Saturday. <laughs> Okay, and I'm pretty happy with the way that whole tunic looks right now. Friday planned for 2 to 4 Central Standard Time. Saturday, 6 to 10 p.m. Central. Usually gets started late. I will try to make some of Friday. Saturday, I already know I can't make it. <clears throat> Alright, so for the sleeves here, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Sybarite Green. Because that seems to be about the closest color without really going into some of the other turquoises. Yeah, I think that'll be the best one. So, again, send you off with this. Yeah, I just have a paint mixer over there, and uh, I just kind of figured it would be funny. <laughs> figured it'd be funny to always awkwardly stare into the camera whenever I uh, use the paint shaker. It's comedy gold, actually, in my opinion. <laughs> Lol, paint shaker, go brrrr. Right now I'm just getting water from my paint pot, or cleaning pot, to thin this down. <laughs> Yeah, mini A10. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then kinetic explosions in the background. <laughs> Just call in danger close air support on a painting stream. <laughs> um, video seems to be going good here, unless it's not going for everybody else right now. Oh, dang it, he has bracers there. Oh, well. It's the solar flare. Hmm. Oh, he just did the Witcher thing. <laughs> hmm. Fuck. So you can tell, I probably should label my stream as mature, but I don't really cuss that often. At least I don't think I do. Oh, yes. Uh, Gareth had a really nice time last night with you. Can we meet up again? <laughs> uh, maybe, Peel Seal. Maybe. 
Only if you wear that one thing. Uh, yeah, so Reaper Bones 6 launches tomorrow. Um, I will see what all comes in the core set and what comes in some of the expansions. And we'll take it from there. Yeah. <laughs> My wallet is already not happy with me, but... I'll just... We'll just see... I'm willing to be patient on this one and not feel like I need to get on the hype train bandwagon right away. <laughs> I'll be there on Reaper's bit. Uh, yeah, but I don't think anything will uh, equal that uh, epic thread we had going on Twitter. Because I know Ty was a part of it when the Bones 5 Kickstarter launched. And so was Michael Mordor, I think Muse's Touch, and uh, T. Gandalel. We all had like this epic Twitter stream, go or yeah, Twitter stream going, or Twitter thread. And yeah, it was just a thing of magic. Yeah, Theravol's Fred. Uh, yeah, Theravol Fred. Yeah, let's just make sure I slur more, right? Yeah, just kind of got that started when everything launched. <laughs> Yeah, we could. One of us could. Yeah. Yeah, we were like real timing any uh, addition and stretch goal. Core is key, but I want to see. The ship topper. I mean, it's going to outsign the huge ass ship. Yeah, which I have one behind me, too. Um, someday. Someday, I'll paint it. Maybe even paint it on stream. Oh, yeah, you have the normal and the ghost ship. <laughs> oh, Peel Seal, you thirsty, thirsty bitch. And I say that because I know him, so... Nice of you to swing by, too, Peel Seal. I really appreciate it. Well, like I saw in one of the Reaper threads, uh, we'll all act surprised when they announce the lighthouse, but uh, we'll all know it was actually coming. They got them when they briefly appeared on Reaper's normal site. Wow. You you got in at the right time there. Though, um, at ReaperCon, they kept bringing out more boats to sell at the convention, and... Uh, Muse will, test, will attest to this, too, that none of them stayed for long. But they do two big minis, but not as big as Sophie's Revenge. Yeah, I, I've heard rumors about a tavern. Because I think they're trying to get more into some of the fantasy scenery scene. Yeah, and they just kept bringing them out, and they kept being sold. It was nuts. Like, I think the most we saw there at one point would be, um, I think, what was it? There was three of each ship there, Muse? Wasn't it? Three or four? So they had eight ships out there, and, uh, 
I think I went to a class and came back and there was one left. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think I was just more watching out of curiosity for the ship since I already had one. It was just more of a, well, let's just see how quickly these go. Having this key for D&D, it's the starting point of many a campaign. Yeah, and it would be cool if, um, okay, you know, to quote Gurney Halleck, if wishes were fishes, we'd all cast nets. But it would be cool if it could be kind of a modular tavern where you could change certain things so it isn't always the same tavern, but, uh, There was a joke that uh, New Big Model is a tavern since it's Tales from the Green Griffin Inn. Yeah. I mean, again, we'll just literally have to wait and see here. I mean, we'll know in like, uh, what, 13 hours now? It's the final countdown. Better for the rusty driving tavern. Or the hole in the wall bar. Or mine was always the Merry Minotaur. And it was one of those two where you were uh, outside and you would just hear the. <laughs> You know, the boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Going live at noon Eastern with pre-stream. Can't wait. Yeah. Mini Minotaurs are allergic to tartar sauce. Thinks that maybe it's a baby, but it may be. Okay, looks a little garish, I think, but hey, that's the <laughs> that's the cover art. Or the halfway in. Which was in the middle of the forest. <laughs> yeah, but which half, Kauru? Which half? Okay, I might touch up some of my yellows. Again, clean brush. <laughs> the morning wood. <laughs> yes, he is a uh, late 80s, early 90s wizard, so... He does not care about your fashion trends. Only magic. Exactly the middle, no matter. <laughs> no, I know. I was just trying to be a shit. <laughs> Maybe that's why the monsters always go for him in the app, too. Because they just know just how brightly colored he's going to be. Just as badly or good or awesomely, you mean?
Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, let's work on the skin for a little bit. Holy crap, we're already at the 40 minute mark. <laughs> yeah, the more vibrantly color he is, the more poisonous other things will believe he is. So we're going to start with Rakarth Flesh, just because it's good base color. Remember one of the patrons was Lance Ryder. Don't know where that many magic missiles came from, but it just wouldn't stop. <laughs> you know, it's just like a scene out of Macross where he just jumps back, cape billowing. It's just magic missiles from somewhere behind him just flow out for forever. Come on, the camera isn't shaking, Muse. Yeah. And if you look closely, you can see the SDF-1 hovering above him. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I just did a Macross, a Robotech reference on a HeroQuest game using a D&D &D spell. Layers. Spa wow, yeah, Space Battleship Yamamoto. Which I assume your username is from Evangelion, right, Kaoru? And I'm pronouncing that right, correct? Layers like an onion. You know, there's supposed to be some fabric here, but we're going to have this be a V cut shirt. Watch that one with Star Blazers. Wow. Gonna give him some chest hair. Uh, the name Kaoru via foray in the Werewolf the Apocalypse. There was a slight typo. Didn't find out about him till about five years ago. Oh, okay. Well, that's a that's an interesting uh, turn of events. So. So, Kaoru. Alright. Alright, cool. Always try to pronounce people's usernames correctly if it's one that I stumble over. And yes, if it looks like the chest airs could show up, I might, uh, <laughs> I might just try to do a little bit. Yeah, cause see, look, look at that. Look at that manly chest. And I see 
see a few spots I need to touch up here. Oh my god, the... <coughs> <coughs> New name will be a random assortment of numbers and letters. <laughs> His name for roughly 20 years, give or take a month. Okay. Do elves have body hair? Is that a thing? Um, <laughs> it depends on what source and um, what other things you're kind of following slash into. Uh, some sources say no, like the hair is only on the top of the head. Uh, yeah, in Dragonlance, yeah, no. Uh, just literally hair on the head. So that's how... You knew Tannis was a half-elf because he had a great big red beard. Well, first of all, this is a human human sorcerer wizard so he could that's why wizards have beards because they're human ha <laughs> ha or they're just like uh, grog in critical role and they get a belt of dwarven kind and just get a beard anyways No, because there is the alternate art wizard in the other box that is uh, basically looks kind of like Zargon, where big uh, red flowing robes, beard, stuff like that. Giant barbarian elf with a giant blonde beard wielding a great club. I'm sold. Okay. <sighs> Depending on how studious they are with their elf, <laughs> yeah, elfscaping. It's no longer manscaping. It's just elfscaping. Kiz left, or yeah, we're gonna go over the Rackarth flesh with Kiz left flesh. I'll hold you to that, so Jan. Which I'm sorry we never got to the next campaign I was planning. I mean, maybe we still might. We'll just obviously have some different players. Maybe this time we could get Dr. Irrefutable back in on a game. Oh, hey, neat. The water from my palette just kind of decided it would be neat to show up and just kind of go to where my flesh paint was. So we'll, we'll do another spot for that. Because I want it watered down, not that watered down, though. Maybe we could get guest appearances from Jason and James on them, too. Hey, Dad! Nice of you to swing by. Hello there. We'll go with 
with a detail oriented brush. Yep, here's what I've Hello been working there. on tonight, Uber. Got a lot of the detail done on the wizard, trying to just match the art on the card. My last D&D game was 30-ish years ago, AD&D 2nd Edition rules. I, I played one game of 2nd Ed... And then from there, hey Grayson, then otherwise it was mainly 3rd Ed, because I started right when 3rd Ed started, then with serious D&D gaming, but Uber Duber, my dad, actually had the red box, so, uh, which I got from him. And then my, uh, I had a leak in my garage, and it destroyed that box. So, felt really bad about that. I'll take a beef taco tie. <laughs> or are you out of beef tacos? And then it'll have to be just a chicken taco. <laughs> <laughs> White box was just kind of pre red box here. I'm an old gamer. Heck, I remember writing the numbers on my dice. Yeah, um, I still have the dice set from the red set that uh, dad uh, put the numbers on. Remember, always kind of looking at it when I was younger and fascinated by it, but just never really got a chance to get get into it much till college. Yeah, <laughs> back back when uh, yeah, elves and dwarves were a class, not just a race. Yeah, and actually, uh, Peel Seal, he likes actually running. Uh, yeah original D&D, &D, which uh, Sojan and I played a few games up at my brother's brewery with him running the game, and it was pretty simple and easy to get a get the hang of, and we saw kind of, you know, you know, it's, it's proto D&D &D pretty much, where there was no skills or anything like that, so it was, it was interesting, it was fun. So again, yeah, as you can see, uh, I will talk about anything and everything nerd and geek related while less time painting miniatures. In spite of its flaw, I really love playing 2E. <coughs> I never played enough to have an uh, a solid opinion of 2E. Well, my last campaign died due to the DM deciding to vamoose, and the rest of the players, including myself, were in high school. Yeah, nerd, dork, whatever, bring it on. To which I'll say the whole reason Sojan and I became friends was we were at a party at his place, and he had the colossal red dragon miniature. 
like the one that's like, you know, about this high. And Dr. Irrefutable, well, I can't refute that, but you're just as big of a nerd as I am. Honestly, any system can be a great system if you have the right... Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Any, uh, As long as the Game Master is good with what you're doing. Yeah, you can't really beat any system. Like, heck, again, Sojan, when I was over at uh, Tom's, we were actually reminiscing about Shadowrun again. You know, which, that was a clunky as hell system, but, uh, we still had a lot of fun, and we made, we made it fun, too. <laughs> Same on my phone, it's your name, D&D, &D. and that will never change. Even Paranoia. Oh my god, I never played Paranoia. I saw the end of a session convention. It was epic and hilarious because the GM was great. Okay. You know, I will do a few little highlights now with Flayed One Flesh. Paranoia is a Tex Avery cartoon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because that's one I haven't played. And there's another one um, that Peel Seal plays that it's it's like D&D &D in space, but I can't remember the name of the system. Is it, is it Starfinder? Or something like that? Game is more about having a good group and a GM. Star Frontiers, Starfinder. It is Starfinder, because it's like as old as D, as old as uh, Dungeons and Dragons. No, not Spelljammer. Um, so, Jan, do you remember what it is? Yeah, maybe Spelljammer. Yeah, because... Spelljammer was D&D in space. But this was more like, uh... Traveler! Traveler! Yes, Ty! I knew the second I would see it. I think it was Traveler. He really wants to play that, and I would like to play it. I just haven't had a chance to go back up and try it. Yep, that was it. It's a hardcore one from what I've heard. Yeah, Traveler, never played it. Yeah, I've heard Spelljammer is okay, but yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a hot mess. But would I still be interested in trying it? You betcha. <laughs> I actually started a campaign in Dark Sun. I was kind of mad that it died when it did. 
Because I like that character. Yeah, we do. I mean, I've been having fun with the uh, Star Wars Bucket O D six though. You know, that's that's the problem with Dabo is uh, he he has great ideas for campaigns. It's just getting him to commit to a schedule to actually play them. So, that means, gotta try and do the eyes on this guy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it is a very common problem amongst gamers, is just getting the time. Plus, like, he's already busy as hell anyways. And then just trying to get into a somewhat normal gaming schedule is difficult. Again, I know I'm going to do a wash over these anyways, but... amongst us old people with all the crap we have to do. Cheers to that. Especially with people, you know, having these things called lives and uh, some of us having children and spouses, significant others, May and or Glavin. Uh, You know, life would be easier if life didn't get in the way, right? <laughs> okay. And, actually, I just saw we've ticked past the hour mark. So. <coughs> no feeling. Have some good campaign ideas. Yeah, and I even have one rattling around up here that I had kind of starting at the end of my last campaign. And just haven't gotten to it. That's what alcohol is for. Yeah, exactly. Where the hell did the time go? Uh, yeah, like on uh, Crit Monkey Studios, uh, they're doing uh, crowd... Uh, was it crowd forging? is what you're calling it, Ty? Uh, where we're all kind of throwing ideas together for a campaign setting. It's actually kind of fun. Yes, crowd forging. Okay. Find a DD form and put them up. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, might do a little bit of, might do some washes off screen with this uh, just because it's a little bit easier always. But, uh, yeah, thank you everyone uh, who came along with the, uh, the raids. Uh, especially Kaoru, thank you for. Uh, adding to the chat so much. I hope you become a uh, regular. Thank you for everyone else that is actually sticking around and just lurking. Uh, thank you for all the follows. Thank you for all the bits tonight. So, um, yeah, 
I'll try and give a lot of people follow backs. Uh, sorry if I don't get to you right away. <coughs> and yeah. <coughs> Hopefully, I will see you all on uh, Monday stream when we do more on the uh, dragon and the next Stillwater pour. So yeah, this was a blast. Again, thank you, thank you so much to everyone for everything. I greatly appreciate it. Um, have a good rest of your night. Let's see. Also writes as well as paint minis. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, have a good night, everyone. Um, and just remember.